dryer, perfume, lipstick, earrings. What do these items have in common? They're mine. <laughs> Self-beautification is one technique humans use to attract a mate. Great idea. <laughs> hey, Ivy, you free Friday night? No, but I'm pretty sure you are. <laughs> It's not even his shade. <laughs> Animals have many different methods to attract a mate. Peacocks use brightly colored feathers. Moths secrete a cologne-like substance called pheromones. Goats lock horns, gorillas beat their chest. What do derbies do? <laughs> uh... Nothing? All right, how about this? Give it up, goat version of Derby. In the animal kingdom, the male challenges another male he believes he can dominate. <laughs> Got it. Oh, oh. Hey, hey, hey. Still nothing? I guess I'm just gonna have to make a lot of money. Look at this mess. I hope moth pheromones don't leave a stain. Me too. <laughs> because this is an awesome shirt. It really brings out the blue in your eyes. It does? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, did you get a new haircut? It's super cute. <laughs> it hangs in your eyes just enough. It does? Oh, yeah. You know, that animal attraction stuff was really interesting. It was? Of course, silly. <laughs> I love your class. You do? Yes. <laughs> it's all cleaned up. I guess we're done. We are? <laughs> Oops. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Actually, that was a really expensive piece of equipment. Oops. Look at this place. It's a mess. Dirty floors, dusty lockers, overflowing garbage cans. There's no room in here for you. What am I supposed to do now? Don't give up so easily. Let's go check the ones in the cafeteria. Good idea. You know, just for that, I'm gonna put you in food waste. It's softer. Thanks, buddy. This is unacceptable. Where's Dang? You car? Yes. Look at the floor. How? I can barely see it with all this garbage. I know. Are you gonna just stand there? Or are you gonna help me? Just stand here. <laughs> What's going on? Why aren't you cleaning? I'm not happy. Why aren't you happy? I miss Vietnam. You're Miss Vietnam? <laughs> Where's your sash, your tiara? Not. I miss Vietnam. I miss Vietnam. Oh, you're homesick. Maybe I can help. You bring family to visit me? Uh, no, <laughs> we can't afford that. We can barely afford all the teachers we need. Oh, hey, Mrs. Straw Person. <laughs> You're not going to believe this, but Echo was flirting with me. You're right. I don't believe it. <laughs> what did Echo do that you think is flirty? 
This is an awesome shirt. It really brings out the blue in your eyes. Thank you. But, but I asked you a question. <laughs> what did Echo say? <laughs> Derby, I'm telling you. She shoved me. She destroyed expensive lab equipment. I know flirting when I see it. <laughs> I guess she can no longer resist my ruggedly handsome good looks. Yeah, that's not it. <laughs> you spilled pheromones all over yourself. That must be what's attracting Echo. Nice theory, but Echo's not a moth. I see. You're lashing out because I didn't respond when you flirted with me. No. And if you have a theory, you need to prove it with an experiment using the scientific method. All right, we'll do it later today. And I'll be sure to wear a different shirt so you won't be distracted. <laughs> Maybe one of us doesn't have a brain, but I don't understand the assignment. Sorry to interrupt your lesson, Mrs. Stropperson, but uh, I need a moment of your time. Great idea, Mrs. Stropperson. Ivy, Mrs. Stropperson tells me you're failing geography. It's not my fault. She's a terrible teacher. Almost as bad as our French teacher, Monsieur Marionette. I heard that. Lousy kids. <laughs> the good news is, Mrs. Stropperson has agreed to let you do an extra credit assignment to raise your grade. Fine, what do I have to do? I want you, I mean, Mrs. Stropperson wants you <laughs> to help cheer up Dang. He's homesick. He's homesick? No wonder the hallways are such a mess. <laughs> yes, I see what you have to put up with. Hello, fellow science person. I am ready to test my theory. Echo is attracted to mock pheromones, not you. What's with the cabinet? So they're far away from you. I'll place the pheromones in here. And none of these cabinets would work? <laughs> Whose experiment is this? Now what? Echo is on her way. I will blend into my surroundings so as not to influence the results and observe quietly as she rejects you. Your theory is flawed. And your disguise is worse than your theory. Oh, hey, Slap. <laughs> you wanted to ask me something, Mr. Young? Yes. I was wondering if you still like my hair. <laughs> Well, it covers your face. That's probably a good thing. <laughs> anyway, I have to get to class. Mm. <laughs> wow. Beautiful cabinet. Is this... oak? I think it's some kind of wood composite press board. Why? It's nice. Really nice. <laughs> mm. I can watch you late for class. Oh, right. <laughs> I'll see you later. Conclusion. Derby is an awesome science person. <laughs> Whatever. I want Echo to like me for who I am. I'm not going to stoop to the cabinet's level. What all this? It's like you never left Italy. <laughs> now we make the pizza. Ivy, what is going on here? I'm giving Dang a taste of home. Dang's not from Italy, he's from Asia. What? <laughs> <laughs> Who's laughing? Is that Dang? Are you cheered up and ready to go back to work? No! Danger, he left! Uh, this is a random Italian a passerby uh, who is amused by a mishandling of the pizza.
May I cut in? What is the meaning of this? I am Nazreen Lagoo, a shy, introverted secretary at Mumbai's third largest basket company. I have fallen in love with my employer, the wealthy and powerful Mr. Chopra. Much to the dismay of my grandfather, Raju, a banana merchant who is set in his ways. Not the meaning of your dance. Why are you putting on a Bollywood production in my hallway? You said Dang was homesick. India's not his home. <laughs> Dang is from Vietnam. Fine, I'll do something for Vietnam. Good. Oh, and since you won't be needing this basket, I can use it for trash. Wait, Mr. Tater, there's a cobra in that basket. <laughs> <laughs> Who's laughing? I can't see with this snake on my face. Is that you, Dang? Are you happy? No, no, no. No time here. Just a random snake charmer who was amused by the mishandling of a venomous serpent. <laughs> hey, guys. I'm hosting Death Drum 2 tomorrow night. It's a Vietnamese festival that celebrates the legend of Koi whose wife urinated on a sacred banyan tree, which then grew taller and taller and took him to the moon. True story. Wow, you know, Dang will love that. You're right. I should totally invite him. You know, that sort of sounds fun. Maybe you and I could... Sure. I'd love to go. It's a date. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Yes, a date. Best day ever. <laughs> nice try, cabinet. <laughs> you throw like my grandma's nightstand. What's with the sleeping bag? Tickets for Detrome 2 go on sale tomorrow morning, and I'm going with Echo, so I'm camping out. A date with Echo? I guess you're back on the pheromones. Hey, Echo likes me for who I am. Guy uses a lot of pheromones. You know, you might want to take it easy with that stuff. Who sent you? The cabinet? <laughs> I'm just worried you're becoming a moth. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You're drinking nectar. It's juice. People drink juice all the time. Your sweater is full of holes. You are eating it. I am not. I picked at it a little. I'm nervous about my date. And if I was really turning into a moth, I'd be in a cocoon. Wow, it's so beautiful. Uh, Echo, I hope you understand how attracted I am to those lanterns. Adam, what are you doing? What's wrong with my eyes? Ah! Oh, I'm turning into a mom! Oh! Ah! Don't look at me. I'm hideous. Yeah, that's why I screamed. Oh. Oh. Thank goodness. It was only a dream. What's happening? Oh. Oh. oh, oh, thank goodness. 
It was just a nightmare when I'm not Derby. <laughs> and not a moth, which is also good. <laughs> Derby, you were right. I have to stop using the pheromones. Conclusion. Derby was right. If you taking me to pray piñata, you should know, I'm not from Mexico either. No, I have a special surprise for you. Welcome to Death Drunk 2. Oh, the Moon Festival. Banyan Tree. Mooncake. <laughs> Head Dancer. Ivy, this festival remind me so much of home. That was the idea. Now I'm more homesick than ever. <laughs> Why are you so cruel? Aren't those lanterns beautiful? Yeah, although I'm not attracted to them at all. OK, I was just trying to make conversation. How about we share a mooncake? Um, OK, I guess. Why did you do that? I thought it would be romantic. After all, this is a date. I don't know if I'd call it a date. I mean, it's September 12th, so I guess it's a date in that sense. And tomorrow will be September 13th, and this date will be over. You know, I just realized I need to go check on something in my lab. Be right back. Adam, wait. Yes? Say hi to that cabinet for me. <laughs> wow, these pheromones are tingly. What are you looking at? But you wouldn't do the same thing. <laughs> Come on, dang, you can't just sit there crying all night. Right, Slap? <laughs> Oh, I don't care if he cries or not. You might want to move, though. I'm about to relieve myself on this tree. You reenacting ancient legend of Koi? Nah, this is where I always relieve myself. You find someone else to clean school. I'm going back to Vietnam. Dang, don't go. Too late. <laughs> Already picked. <laughs> There you are. I've missed you. Well, I'm pretty missable. Sometimes girls miss me, even when I'm there. <laughs> I remember this one time when... <laughs> Stop talking. Got it. Kiss me. It's just like the puppet. It's just like the puppet. Wow. My heart's fluttering like a thousand tiny wings. Moths are attracted to moth pheromones. I did not see that coming. <laughs> Dang, you're still here. Yeah, I'm not homesick anymore. I realize life better here. Because you have people who care about you. No. When moths attack in Vietnam, they also eat underpants. <laughs> Coming through. Nothing to see. <laughs> Could someone get the door? <laughs> Peacocks use brightly colored feathers. Moths secrete a cologne-like substance called pheromones. In the animal wow. kingdom... That was crazy. I can't believe I dreamt that I was attracted to Mr. Young. 
Hmm. Goats lock horns, gorillas beat their chest. Well, well, well. Suddenly they're paying attention. Conclusion. Derby is irresistible. <laughs> One at a time, ladies. There's plenty of me to go around. Oh, yeah. You like this, don't you? <laughs> oh, oh, a dream. Thank goodness I'm not Derby. <laughs>